Hello and welcome to another bedtime story. Today's story is Pumpkin in Wonderland. Once upon a time, there was a little sock puppet named Pumpkin. One sunny day, while she was sitting by a river, she saw a strange white rabbit wearing a waistcoat and holding a pocket watch. The rabbit looked very worried and said, Oh dear, I'm late. Curious Pumpkin decided to follow him. Was she a private detective? No, she had no such qualification. She was just curious. The rabbit continued on his way into a large barrel and Pankin followed him into the unknown. It was dark inside the barrel and Pankin could not see anything. She kept moving forward. Wasn't she afraid? No, Pumpkin was very brave. And suddenly, Pumpkin fell down a big rabbit hole and landed in a magical place called Wonderland. Everything in Wonderland was very strange and fun. Pumpkin first met a large cat who had a big mysterious smile. The cat could appear and disappear whenever he wanted and gave Pumpkin puzzling advice. Next, Pumpkin joined a tea party with the Mad Hatter who loved wearing funny hats. And do you remember the white rabbit from the beginning? Yes! Well, he was there too, with the Mad Hatter. Apparently, he was late for this tea party. These two old friends were always having a tea party that never ended and loved to ask silly riddles. Later on, Pumpkin came across a large caterpillar sitting on a mushroom eating jelly beans. The caterpillar was very relaxed and didn't seem to mind that Pumpkin was there. He asked her, who are you? But Pumpkin wasn't sure how to answer because she felt so different in Wonderland. The caterpillar then gave her a piece of mushroom and told her it would help her change size. When Pumpkin ate a piece of the mushroom, she either grew very tall or became very small. This made her able to reach things she couldn't before or fit through doors she couldn't open. It was a bit confusing, but she learned how to use the mushroom to her advantage. Then, Pumpkin went to a garden where she played a very unusual game of cricket. Instead of regular mullets and balls, the players used flamingos and hedgehogs. The Queen of Hearts was in charge, and whenever she got upset, she was shouting, That's enough television for you, it's time to go to bed. But we are in the middle of the story. Oh. It's not meant for us, it's for the characters inside the story. One day, Pumpkin found herself at a big courtroom where a trial was happening. The Queen of Hearts was sitting on a throne, looking very grumpy, and the King of Hearts was sitting beside her. The trial was about the chief cook, who was accused of stealing the Queen's delicious cakes. Maybe he ate all of the Queen's cakes. I don't think that the chief cook could eat so many cakes, but let's see. The trial was very silly and confusing. The queen's cakes had disappeared and everyone was very excited to see what would happen. The king read out the charges, but nobody seemed to take them seriously. The courtroom was full of strange characters. There were the Mad Hatter, the White Rabbit and many other odd creatures. Pumpkin noticed that the trial didn't follow any real rules. The queen kept shouting, that's enough television for you, it's time to go to bed. Whenever she didn't like something, even if it was just a simple mistake. The chief cook was nervous and sweaty and didn't have a chance to explain himself. Maybe he was guilty. Well, he was in charge of the kitchen. I guess he had some clue. After all, he was responsible for the queen's cakes. Pumpkin tried to speak up, saying how unfair it all seemed. She pointed out that there was no real evidence and that the trial was just a joke. But no one listened to her. So she tasted the mushroom again and she grew very tall. She could see over everyone's heads and finally made a big stand against the unfairness. The queen didn't like this one bit and demanded that Pumpkin would be punished. But just then... What happened? There is a suspense part here. What will happen? Will they catch Pumpkin? Will she be punished? Will Pumpkin run away? Just as things were getting really crazy, Pumpkin woke up to find herself back by the riverbank. It was all just a dream. She was happy to be back home, but she would always remember her wonderful adventure in Wonderland. 
and that's the end of Pumpkin Magical Journey through Wonderland. Thank you for watching. Good night. Sweet dreams. Until next time. Bye.